Hey folks, it's Red Falcon, and this is episode 7 of my Let's Play Evil Crime Mercenary series. In our last episode, we, um, we did our first combat mission in the Olympus system, and uh, you watched me get lost on a planet. And, but we've landed on the planet, and we've got our new contract, and that's to provide escort for a capital ship. So we're going to go ahead and just accept this here. Oh, I also showed you how to get oxygen from the, um, from the planet's surface. Uh, eh, we'll keep it in our cargo hold. It's not doing us any harm right now. So we're going to launch our ship and Don't get out of here. And we don't want to go too fast. You want to stay just under 1,500. Whoa. Okay. As I was saying, you want to stay just below 1,500, uh meters per, uh, units per second. Because if you go faster than that, you're going to burn up in the atmosphere. And there's our planet, or uh, the city we're on anyway. Okay, now this is an escort mission. I remember I had a hard time with this when I first started playing because I switched to space mode. just couldn't get to the ships in time, so... Um, I've successfully completed on my other playthrough, so we're going to see how well I do on this go-around. But the whole objective of this is you want to make sure that those fighters can't get to the capital ship. And they generally... Oh, there's one right there. Alright, so we want to approach them at an angle. And don't be shy about using your afterburners. You don't want to sacrifice your speed at all, because if you're slow, you're dead. So approach him from an angle. And what I'm doing is, I'm kind of doing a uh, sliding maneuver on him. Okay, see, I overshot that a little bit. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I overshot that a lot. I like to shoot the missiles down, but countermeasures work just as well. Well, it depends. There's there's an art to using countermeasures. Whoa! Okay, remember when I said not to approach your enemy like that? Yeah, that's why. And I'm using my uh, vertical and horizontal maneuvering thrusters to uh, keep an angle on them. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and launch a missile. See, that really messed him up. See that? He took a ton of damage on his front shield. Alright, he's done. Next target. Yeah, see? He was distracting me while his buddy um, took out the capital ship. But he sees me now, and he's breaking off. Alert. Inbound missile. Oh, and if you're going more than, like, um, 2,000 units per second, the uh, missiles can't hit you. Generally speaking, anyway. Okay, we want to approach him at an angle. Go ahead and launch a missile. Okay, I am not. Oh no, I failed. Ah. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Well, if you do fail the mission. You can just use uh, this time to practice your dogfighting skills. Okay, my shields just took a beating. Thankfully, though, you can divert power to your shields using the numpad. Um, eight diverts power to the front shields. Four and six divert to the left and right, and, and two to the rear. If you want to equalize your shields, you can hit five. Oh, and your shield indicators are also located here, here, and here. It shows you the status of all your shields, as well as right down here. 
And uh, if you're taking damage, like heavy damage, rotate your ship 90 degrees in some direction so your other shields will take the damage. Alright, so I'm going to take the scorpion out next. Okay. Oh, and when you see that little, whoa, that little circle around him, that means you're in weapons range. damage to the front shields, but I'm okay. Alright, he's taken care of. Next target. Yeah, I don't like these protection missions, honestly, but... Alright, I'm right behind him. That's the best, best place to be right now. Ideally, you want to get behind your target and just plow them with, uh, just unload on them. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. All right. Well. Okay. Well, yeah, you saw that happen. So. All right. Let's go ahead and. I didn't mean to hit a jettison, but okay, let's go ahead and accept this contract. Docking track to be disengaged. I was still on inertial for some reason. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Okay, so I just showed you how to not do that mission. But yeah, ideally you want to um, you want to stay on the capital ship and defend it from there. It's avionics switch to space mode. I tried to uh, intercept, and I uh, it didn't work out well. So okay. All right, and. There's one target. That one's further away. Oh, if you hit R, it um, selects... Well, I usually use T. T selects the, um, the target under your reticule. Reticle. Reticle. Eh. I can't talk right now. Alright, so we need to quickly... Alert. Inbound missile. Alright, first target's eliminated. Next target. And see, I'm aiming a little bit, I'm pointing the nose a little bit above him. A little bit in front of him so I can intercept him. As I, uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I almost collided with the, uh... Alright, yeah, I almost collided with him. Oh, and if you'll notice, um, I've got full power to the weapons. Generally speaking, you'll want to have that, um... You'll want to have that... Oops. Ah. You want to have that setting, because you want to be able to use your weapons as much as possible. Shields, but we're all right. And 
I just... Alert. Inbound missile. Oh, I actually... Alright. Looks like uh, one of my allies there took it out. Alert. Inbound missile. Oh, and the... Um... The names of the ships refer to the uh, class of frame. So, like, that was a uh, Mirage frame. This is a Renegade frame. Right, I need to divert more power to the front shields. Just like Star Trek. Except it's like a mix of, like, Star Trek, Babylon 5, it's BSG. Mixed in there for good measure. As far as the combat system goes, anyway. All right. Okay, looks like that scorpion's moving into attack. Command ship. I'm try to intercept them. You don't want to. You want to try to watch your speed because you don't want to overshoot them. But you can see why um, inertial mode is the preferred ship mode when you're dogfighting. At least in this game, anyway. All right. Target eliminated. Moving on to the next target. Okay, so what do we got here? Where's Alert, inbound missile. Alert, inbound missile. Yeah, I just like to shoot the missiles down, honestly. Alright, cool. Someone else took them out for me. Whoa. And really, dogfighting in space is just something you have to get used to. Contract objectives accomplished. Cool. All right, let's finish up these last. Let's finish up these last few enemies. So we can uh, we can advance. Looks like we got the location of another guild cache. Ah oh, crap! Multiple hits. Launching countermeasures. Now, now I gotta ask myself: Is it really worth it? Taking out these last few guys. They did drop some equipment. Alert, inbound missile. All right. Yeah, we don't want our nose pointing directly at them. Oh, and uh, contrary to popular belief, um, well, at least I believe this anyway when I first started playing, um, they don't have infinite missiles. They do have eight missiles, which is the maximum uh, one ship can carry. It's just, uh, you know, there, there are more of them than you, so it just seems like they have an infinite supply of missiles. Alright. Alright, now I'm just helping these guys take them out. When they start like hitting you like that, you want to use your strafing thrusters to kind of get out of the way. And 
you'll notice I'm thrustering in the position where they're going to be so I can intercept them. And just remember, you're fighting in three dimensions. There is no up and down, so you just got to keep that in mind. taken care of. Next target. But look at how fast his shields are draining. Alright, looks like all the targets have been eliminated. Alright, let's figure out where we want to go now. Ah, here we go. Okay, so it looks like there are three. Oh, actually, I'll go ahead and pick this guy up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into IDS mode. Since IDS mode makes it a little easier to maneuver around and pick up these guys. I don't think we have any more. Now, it looks like we've just got these these containers right here. Ooh, what do we get anyway? Okay, we got some fusion generators. Not bad. We can sell those. question is, why were combat pilots carrying around fusion generators? We'll probably never know. This guy's being elusive. Okay, what, do I have a full cargo ho hold or something? Oh, I, I do have a full cargo ho to hold. I can't talk. Okay, so we got some machinery parts, some fusion generators. Not a whole lot of stuff I can pick up. Yeah, clothing fabric. Uh, what kind of economy does this place have, anyway? General. Oh, industrial. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Not, not manufacturing, industrial. That's the one I was talking about. Energy, general... General. Hmm. Probably not. I mean, I guess I could sell. Go ahead and jettison that cargo. Now, let's see. Is this the one I just picked up? Food. All right. Well, we don't have a lot of room for to carry all this stuff. All right. So let's see. Where's the nearest station? All right. That's in a general economy. I guess that'll work. Looks like a pretty big station. Let's get my ship lined up here. Neutral pitch. IDS on. Let's get out of here. But yeah, that's uh, that's how dogfighting works. Oh yeah, see that's the secret. You gotta have neutral pitch. Okay, so let's see here. Food, medical supplies, machinery, fusion generators. Hmm. 
go ahead and repair and refuel my ship. Hmm. Okay, so we know fusion generators do well. They probably do well at an industrial um, place. Machinery parts probably do well there too. Or agriculture. Medical supplies, pretty much anywhere. Food. Docking tractor right. being disengaged. Oh, I don't know why I'm using my afterburner. Oh, I always do that. Okay, let's try... Let's, see what... let's try going right here. Let's see if we find a good place to sell this stuff. Like I said, I'm no trader by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think you should at least shop around. Hmm. That doesn't seem to really do anything. Let's try going here and see. What that looks like. Hmm. Okay, well, really getting a whole lot for this stuff. It's doing a little better, I guess. All right. Well, in the interest of um, keeping my cargo bay relatively. Uh, relatively light. Ah, oh, crap. IDS is a... Entering gravity field. IDS is a pretty good thing to engage when uh, you run into situations like that. Because you can quickly uh, apply reverse thrust. The computer's going to have a better reaction time than you. That's why I like to keep my IDS uh, setting relatively low. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and sell all this stuff. Alright, uh... Oh, and save. Always safe. Docking track right. to be engaged. Docking track to be disengaged. Now we were given another guild cache. And let's see where that was. A few last quest message. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. At this point, you may want to go complete some contracts. Okay, and we need to upgrade our ship a little bit. Uh, will be significantly more difficult. So we've made it. Purpose. Uh, keep the contents of the Exodus. Ooh, Exodus missiles. I love those. Okay, so that's Olympic Sigma. Data. Where is Sigma? Is it one of these planets? Omicron. Omicron, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sigma. They did say, yep, they said Sigma. Okay. Well. Let's go. Alright. Too far away. Or well, at least, uh, at least we can find that cache and see what's in it. Oh, excuse me. How rude of me. Okay. This looks like the place. Alright. 
Now I like to go ahead and just move this chat log up a bit. Okay, so we've got Olympus Sigma. Oh, I'm on Omicron. Well, that's not where I need to be. Hold on. Didn't quite get there. Alright, here we are. Okay, <laughs> now we're at the right place. All right, now this should be the same sector, so... No, oh, it is the same sector. Okay, so now we just need the local coordinates. 20,000. Negative 5,000. Negative 55,000. Okay, and we're gonna Add to log planets. I want to make sure I put planet in there. Because uh, if you jump into a planet, um, you're going to die. So let's. Oh crap. That was stupid. Am I gonna burn up? Yeah, I just burned up. Stupid. That's why you don't want to jump into a planet. Alright, well, I think this has gone on long enough. Um, I'm gonna call the video here. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please um, click the like button and leave a comment below. And to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And as always,